All right, boys, uh, we are back here with another Rarity Collection one box opening. This time around, though, you know, I'm not going to be a normie and go for the Ash Blossom. I'm going to be a, a not, not less of a normie, <laughs> I should say, uh, and try to pull the Infinite Impermanence. Because, I don't know, the Infinite Impermanence QCR kind of looks a little bit better to me than the Ash Blossom. So, let's see what we can pull this time around, of course, with Rarity Collection 1, unlike Rarity Collection 2, we get we get two QCRs, or sorry, three QCRs, three Platinum Secret Rares, which are different than the Platinum Secret Rares in Rarity Collection 2. We get four Ultis and then four Collector Rares. So let's see what those are, and hopefully we get some lower-end Rarity tor Tournament staples. Pot of Prosperity is always nice, of course. So, yeah, Galaxy Eyes, Afterglow, Dragon, Super Rare, Chaos, Space. That's the first high rarity there. Uh, that's a Platinum Rare, which is, again, slightly different than... Well, actually, it's a completely different than the one you get in Rarity Collection 2. We got a Selene Ultra, a Predator Plant, Dragosphelia, Super. Okay, so Chaos, Space, Platinum is actually kind of a good start, not gonna lie. Pot of Extravagance, Ultra, or sorry, Super. It's, it's not the the card it used to be because it got hit on, on the ban list, of course. But, you know, it's still a no slouch. And maybe Konami will re loosen the restriction. At least put it into the semi-limited list. Because I think it's it's uh, only limited. But uh, Forbidden Droplet, super. Hell yeah, let's go. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, secret rare. Okay. Uh, we'll put that over there as well. The Iris Sword Soul. Uh, the Sue. The Orcus of the Evening Star, Ultra, Pot of Desires, Super Rare. Uh, so if you guys don't know, don't follow the market. The Super Rares are actually doing pretty well in this set uh, compared to the other rare. Secret Rares as well, but uh, those are also harder to get. So I'm kind of going for the Super Rares here. Uh, we got a Fossil Dig Secret, Preparation of Rights Ultra, uh, Drexthelia Ultra, and then a Magician Salvation Super Rare. Okay. So yeah, uh, compared to Rarity Collection 2, I mean, uh, you get way more, way more tournament staples in here, I feel. Dark Ruler and No Mo, super rare. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that one, man. Artemis, the Majestus Moon Maiden. I feel like I pulled this already. Oh, man, I don't remember, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. It's a waifu, so it'll probably, uh, you know, get some value uh, long term here. So, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it over here. That's that's decent. That's decent. Uh, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon Ultra Rare. Hey, there we go. A that pack was pretty decent then. Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs Collector Rare. I like these Collector Rares because in certain lightings, it almost looks like a Ghost Rare. So I'll take it, man. Hell yeah. There we go. I was debating on getting a, a, a case of this or a case of Rarity Collection 2. Obviously, this is way more expensive. Infinite Impermanence. Uh, Seeker Rare. Hell yeah, let's go. But uh, yeah, so Rarity Collection 2 is obviously going to be cheaper. Then we got a number of... I keep getting interrupted by bangers, guys. Although this isn't as good, in my opinion. But uh, number 100 Numeron Dragon Collector Rare there. Cool, cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Rated Collection 2 is just uh, cheaper. And given time, it'll probably, you know, get some value going. But we'll see. We'll see. Reasoning, Summon Limit, uh, Secret Rare, Alpha the Master of Beasts, Ultra Rare, Shadal Schism, Ultra, and then a Heat Soul Super. Okay, okay. I feel like we're going to, this is going to be a waifu box. Like, we're, we're aiming for the infinite impermanence. Uh, QCR, but we're going to get some waifu QCRs, aren't we? Dankus Law, Secret Rare. Okay, I, I still haven't pulled this as a QCR, which as a hero player, that kind of hurts my soul. And yes, I can buy it. It's relatively cheap compared to the other uh, QCRs, of course. But I I, I, I got to pull it, dude. I, I can't I can't just buy it. Uh, Fairy Tale Luna, Alti. I think that's the first Alti. And then a Crusadia Avermax. Uh, oh, forgot. The Super Rare. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. That ain't bad, actually. It's a super, super rare. All right. I kind of wish the Super Rares could also have been replaced by a higher rarity. But uh, what are you going to do? Tri Brigade Revolt. Oh, man. I, again, I was not expecting that. The Savage. You know, the, I wouldn't have mind pulling this 
before the Banless Hammer, but it's still a nice card. It's it's actually one of my favorite artworks, and I don't I've never used this card. Like I've never built a deck that utilized this card, and I actually hate decks that build this card because they're just generic Dragon Link decks, right? But yeah, no, there's something about this artwork that I really like. Actually, every other Boral archetype dragon or whatever you want to call it it doesn't appeal to me except this card so it kind of sucks that it got hit on the ban list is what i'm trying to say but uh we got an ulti evenly matched okay so there's some bangers here for sure but we still need we still need the infinite and permanent as a qzr that's what we need that's what we are aiming for danger jackalope super rare ebon angel burning abyss secret rare Golden Boy, Ultra Rare, uh, Dogmatic Punishment, Ultra Rare, Called by the Grave, Super Rare. Okay, so I feel like we're lacking on the uh, tournament staples, but the higher end stuff is actually pretty decent. Uh, Red Eyes, Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, I think we got something in the wings. Looks like a Collector Rare. Yeah, okay, so Collector Rare, and it's a Synchro, and it, it, I think all the Synchros are, are, are wind, actually, so... I mean, I'm going to go, it's probably going to be Boral, Boral End, Boral, the, whatever the dragon's name is, but I want a, a, a Baronicus. Okay, Junk Speeder. So the reason I was saying that it was going to be Boral End is because I've seen the trend where if you get a box, it, it, you will pull the same card in two different higher end rarities a couple of times, like at, at least two, but I, I guess not, man. I don't know. Forest, super rare. I'll put that over here, actually. Oh, actually, Nibiru as well. The Rock is a good card. All right. So, last pack here on the right side. Chaos Space, 100 Numeron Dragon Secret. Entis, uh, Ultra Rare. Ash Blossom, Ultra Rare. Okay, okay. And then Fairy Dragon, super rare. So, the Fairy Dragon QCR is actually kind of expensive in this set. So, um... And I have one. I'm just kind of waiting for it to go a little bit higher so I can sell it. Because I kind of don't have an attachment to it. Dimensional Barrier, Secret Rare, Deco Talker, Heat Soul, Ultra, Golden Boy Ultra, and then a Rock. Uh, super Rare. Okay, come on. We need some pot of uh, Prosperities here before they get banned. Because you guys want them banned, <laughs> uh, apparently. Veronicus, Defloricus, Super Rare. Uh, Blue Eyes, Abyss, Dragon, Secret Rare, Ancient Fairy, Dragon, Ultra, uh, Nadir Servant Ultra, and then Evenly Matched uh, Super Rare. Okay, so we'll put that there. Evenly Matched is just that card that isn't that consistently good, if that makes sense. Uh, Dimension Shifter. Okay, I, I don't. I want to build suspense on the last QCR here. Nightmare Unicorn Secret Rare, uh, Spell Book of Judgment. That's a dud for sure. Spell Book of Judgment uh, Ulti. Is uh, oh there hey we got a we got a dud we get a good card right after that so pot of extravagance uh, ulti I'll I'll take that one actually now I mean it's not the best pot card in the set but it's still no spell book of judgment you know so in, in the in the tiers of good and bad that ain't bad I'll lick the golden boy ice barrier. Uh, Platinum, okay, okay. This card was seen buyouts before it got reprinted. There's a Prosperity. Triple T's as well. There we go. Two good bangers, actually. You know, if it was unreleased, that pack would have actually paid for the... Or sorry, th those two cards would have paid for the pack, is what I'm trying to say. Nadir Servant, Super Rare. Baronicus Defloricus. Uh, Seeker Rare, I'll take it. It still has a nice place in my heart. I used to use... Like, this is an honorary Speedroid, and now I can't play Speedroids. Not that I play the TCG, so it's still it's still legal in, in Master Duel. And actually, I haven't even played Master Duel in like four months, so what am I bitching about, right? Anyways, uh, we got like six packs left here. Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief. Do we got the QCR? Nope. We got a Poison Wind, Simoon, Dimension Shifter Collector. That ain't bad, too. We're pulling some decent, some decent high rarity cards. Uh, another Baronicus, the Floricus. Um, but, yeah, this recap is going to be interesting. Come on. Infinite Impermanence. QCR. Dark Ruler, no mo. All right, it's not in this pack. Uh, we got the Iris Sword Soul Secret Rare. Danger Jackalope, uh, Ultra Rare, Ice Dragon's Prison, Ultra Rare, 
And then a Schism uh, Super Rare there. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, man. We need this. It, it is in here. Okay, so... Oh, man. Danger Jackalope. Uh, super Rare. And it's, is it a trap? Is it a trap? It's a spell. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Con Constellation Price. Either Triple T's, Pot of Prosperity... What other good uh, spells are there? Shoot. Uh, called by the Grave. No, yeah. Called by the Grave all takes. Forbidden Droplet. Uh, and those are it, actually. Because th there's... Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. One of those aforementioned cards that I already forgot. What is this? What is this? It starts with a G. Oh, it's called by the Grave. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I thought it was a G, but I'm like, no, that's a C. For called it, not called by the grave. I called this was going to be called by the grave. Hell yeah, let's go. I think I pulled this too. Uh, yeah, I think I already pulled this, but this card has been increasing in value as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting to sell my uh, other copies. So now I have another copy to sell. Reinforcement of the Army Ultra, Chaos Space Ultra. And then, hey, look at that, called, called by the grave. Super. Hell yeah, good pack, good pack. I mean, at least it wasn't a dud. Like, spell a book of judgment, you know? Uh, Fallen of Albas, uh, Super Rare, Burning Abyss, Secret Rare, Angel of Mischief, Ultra, Speeder, Ultra, Herald, Super. We got three more packs. I don't think we need another Collector Rare or Ulti, but we are missing one Platinum. So, uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device, the Savage himself as a Secret Rare. Cyber Angel Bentenicus. I wouldn't mind this as a QCR too. Like, I'm not into the waifus, but there are some waifus, man. Like, I ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie. There are some waifus that I do, don't mind in higher rarity. Um, Code Talker Inverted Spell Book of Judgment. There's the, there's the dud. There's the dud right there. All right. Two more packs. We got Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Uh, super. Oh, we do have something over here. It looks like a collector rare. Uh, D Shifter. Okay, uh, the Savage Ultra Rare. What is this, actually? Uh, card type is an effect monster, and it is Earth. Uh, is it, it? It's probably Ghost Bell. I mean, that's that's the only Earth monster I can... Well, Nibiru's also Earth. Okay, so e Nibiru or Ghost Bell are okay in my book, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, Alpha's in here, but... Uh, Eh, it's all right. It's, it's decent. It's decent. It's not terrible, but the Nibiru or Ghost Bell Collector Rare would have been a lot, a lot better, in my opinion. All right. I, I think we have one more Platinum, though. Uh, all right. I'm kind of nervous on this one. It's another spell. Preparation of Rice. Okay, we can't have it all, man. This, this box was pretty decent. All right. Let's do a quick recap here. I feel like the, the QCRs got saved because of Called by the Grave in this regard. But uh, if this guy wasn't on the ban list, it would have been a really, really good QCR haul. Uh, it's just unfortunate that, he, the, that my boy got uh, hit on the ban list, essentially. There. Chaos Space, Preparation of Rights, and Ice Barrier were the Platinums. Not bad on the Chaos Space, in my opinion. Still, the ban list is hurting the price a little bit. We got Evenly Matched, which is the GOAT in the Altis here. Pot of Extravagance is the runner-up for sure. And then uh, Fairy Tale Luna Alti and Spell Book of Judgment Alti. Okay, okay. And then Collector Ear Wise, pretty decent, honestly. So besides number 100, I, I, I'm okay with the other three. D Shifter, Alpha, the Master of Base, and then of course the Ash Blossom Hand Trap there. All right, guys, that is the video. Not too many, you know, lower end. Uh, What's it called? Tournament staple cards, but you, you know you can't you can't have uh, too great of a box. You know, uh, catch you guys in the next one.